Hey everybody, this video is going to be in English because it's a video response to an English show. <coughs> in particular, the Philip DeFranco show um, that uh, aired last week um, or somewhere this week. Uh, I'll link to that one below and I'll link to the article I'm going to uh, respond on. Um, in short, uh, it's uh, it's a story about a, a girl that got got molested from the age of four to eight uh, by her stepfather. Uh, her stepfather later got convicted, only got two years in jail. Um, uh, then the daughter got back into contact with uh, uh, with her real father. Um, the guy heard the heard the story, got pissed naturally. Uh, looked uh, looked up the uh, the rapist and shot him dead, and uh, which I say two thumbs up. Also, um, then uh, the rapist only got two years. Uh, the guy that shot him dead, um, uh, well, pled guilty probably and got forty years. And um, that's a little crooked, weird, you know. Uh, okay, somebody explained to me that um, the law is um, rules without feeling. So, yeah, okay, the guy took somebody's life, so he should be punished for it. But not 40 years. I mean, come on. Um, you know, um, okay, so your question was, how do we respond to this? And people were taking uh, people were taking pitchforks on and uh, petition uh, to to get this guy released or have a lesser sentence. Um, now I'm going to take a different approach and flip the, uh, flip flip the story. Okay, so now I'm going to be the uh, I'm going to uh, speak from the position of the guy that murder murdered the rapist. Um, I know my daughter is safe now. I know that in jail she would, she probably would come and visit me every chance she gets. And um, I also would know that I did the right thing in my mind. And of course, um, uh, you know, being in jail, I feel, uh, be, the rules are different for for criminals. I would probably be received as a hero uh, because of what I've done. And also, um, I would brag about it, um, probably. And let me just put it this way. Um, uh, you know, basically, I would, uh, I would take the 40 years. Heck, I'll take life. Heck, I'll do you one better. I'll take the chair and die as a mother. That's my opinion on this. So, we can... Uh, of course, it's tough for the guy that he to, uh, got 40 years in jail, but on the other hand, I think he's okay with that. I, uh, I haven't looked into that, I can't respond, uh, I can't know, but, you know, I mean, nobody touches my daughter or any of my girlfriends or my friends. <laughs> if you do, you die. That's basically my gist. Now, okay, I'm a tough talker, and it's easy for me to say this in a video, uh, in a video response. But I know that in reality, I would never be able to do some something like this because I have too big of a conscience, um, and also, you know, I, I would never, uh, I would really want to do this, and if I ever did. I would take the chair, happy to. So that's my opinion on this. Uh, to end on a positive note, I really enjoy your show, man. Uh, I've been watching Philip DeFranco for years now. Um, uh, and really, actually, um, Philip is a month, um, born in the same month and in the same years. He was born on uh, December 1st. I was born on December 20th. Um, you, have a, you have a lovely girlfriend. And you have a, a little a little child, and I've seen I've been watching the the Franco family channel from the start, so it was fun to see this guy grow up, and I hope to meet you guys one day. I have family near you, so who knows? 
uh, I have family on both coasts in the US of A and um, good day to you sir I hope you respond to this I hope you get to see this and I wish you all the best